Okay, so um, this is the player data script, and in the player data script, we are going to synchronize the ID, the score, and the name across um, all of all of the different player data objects. And so um, the first thing that we are going to do is on start, we're going to uh, figure out whose network of uh, whose uh, player data object this is. And depending on that, we are going to um, request um, all the player data information. And so when a new player comes in, um, we'll make sure that they know who everybody else is and that everybody else knows who they are. And so that's what this bit of code does right here. Um, then we have this request set function. And this will just... Um, it's just a helper function that uh, will set the name and ID for uh, everybody. And then we have this RPC set name and ID. And this uh, just sets, well, it just sets the name and ID of a, of a certain object. We also have the on serialized network view. Um, and this will uh, synchronize the score. And so, um, we have uh, temp score, and we have temp score equal the uh, actual score. Then we have the stream serialized temp score, if uh, and only if the stream is actually writing the data. If it's reading the data, it uh, serializes the temp score, and so it gets the information uh, across the network and assigns it to the temp score. And then we have score equal temp score. And um, we have the last uh, function, which just adds um, the score um, to equal plus, uh, the score will wind up equaling score plus num. And so that's all this function does. And um, this, this script is uh, both uh, fairly simple and a little bit confusing. And the reason why it's confusing is because um, there's a lot of networked functions, and so uh, we got a lot of RPC calls, and then we got the on serialized network view. Um, so just read the comments of the code, and you should be able to uh, get through it. Um, so yeah, um, that's the player data script.